So there are a huge set of advantages to manufacturers. So again, we'll, we'll stay with the example with power transformers. So if you're a power transformer manufacturer, this can be a big differentiator for you when you're bidding in projects. Your transformers now will be monitored continuously. Maybe your customer operates only a handful of transformers. They're not experts in that equipment. You can provide that expert support. You can tell them if anything comes up that's an issue with the operations of that transformer. That's a valuable service that companies now pay for. They pay service companies to do that. Now a manufacturer or service company can do that much more easily through our platform. Additionally, it provides you insights as to the performance of your transformers. It can be something as simple as you need to test that transformer in the factory to make sure everything's working. You plug it all in, you make sure everything works as specified. And you can take all the sensor readings then, and you can compare them upon delivery to see if the issue, where the issues arose, if the issues were uh, something that was done on site or occurred in the factory. You can identify and, and help the customers because now you have visibility across a huge number of transformers. And that insight basically helps you give targeted advice and support across your customer base. You can connect customers with other customers who have had similar issues, for example. As I mentioned, a lot of times this data is not even accessible remotely. Right? So end customers, if they want to look at the data. So for transformers, they're actually old just dials you know, with a little needle that goes like this. And they look at it, and it has, a, it has a needle, which is the alarm needle. So if it exceeds that, then the buzzer goes off. Okay, so that's the extent of the analysis. You can't see that data remotely. The manufacturer has no idea. The manufacturer might even not, not even know that the equipment's installed there. It was installed so many years ago. So there's a big value in just getting access to that data, right, and, and making it accessible both to the end customer and to the manufacturer. But in terms of the analytics specifically, most of the health models that we've, we've looked at that are you know, integrated into a computer on a piece of equipment, a controller, are, are very deterministic. And what I mean by that is they're, they're fixed in place. So they don't change, they're not updated, they don't take into account environmental variables that are not measured. And so if, for example, an equipment manufacturer realized, hey, you know what, there's a newer type of analytics that provides better results, there's no way for them to share that analytic model with their existing install base easily. So what you can do now that you've integrated this equipment is, okay, we've come up with a, a better analytical model. You just push it to the cloud, and then the data that's coming in is analyzed under the new model, and results are shared to the end user and the manufacturer. So that's one of the big advantages in terms of the delivery of the data. Specifically in the analytics, though, we're, we're still looking for larger sets of data. So I would say the, the results from using machine learning are not yet established, but we're very optimistic about what they can do. And the reason, again, is because we're collecting for the first time a much higher resolution set of data, and we have the capability to collect it across a much larger sample size. So with the transformers, again, you know, it was a 30 different data points to build that health model. Now you could conceivably do it across several thousand transformers, collecting the data concurrently, building those models on the fly and then updating them as you get more and more information. It, it could very well be the case that uh, a customer's primarily interested in just building better models for the health of their equipment. But to do that, you've got to get the data. And there's something to be said to be able to apply these health models on the fly. And if there's new health models that can be de uh, developed, to be able to deploy them quickly across your entire install base. The way we've set it up is we don't own the data coming off the equipment in the sense that we don't have any intellectual property rights to the data. It's the customer's data. Whoever, whoever basically pays us, they have all the rights to the data. We'll help build models on their behalf, and we will have rights to the models, but all the data, that's theirs. A big part of the value we create as well is, is just making the data accessible. It's very difficult to get data off of your equipment in the field. And so we can, once we collect the data into the tag of cloud, we can make it accessible to you programmatically. So if you want to build your own software tools, your own analytics, we make it much more straightforward by providing you a central source of record for the data that you own as a manufacturer, as a valued reseller, or as an end customer, that you can bring in software expertise, analytical expertise, to very simply build analytical models on to, or, or dashboards or other things on top of that data not possible today. It's very difficult. Right? If you wanted to get that data uh, as a modern web developer, 
you know, without getting too much in the technical details, uh, you would need some way to collect the data centrally and then someone to build the tools for you to access it programmatically. That's something we provide.